You just admitted a patient with ARDS, or Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, and the doc is asking for a PF ratio. What does that mean? Forget the formula for a second. The PF ratio is just a super simple way of asking, how effective are those patients' lungs at moving the oxygen that I'm giving them into their blood? It tells you about the severity of the lung injury, like ARDS. So let's break down the PF ratio into three simple steps. The last step is a trick to instantly know how your patient's doing on this scale. Step number one, the calculation or the math part. The PF ratio is simply the PaO2 or the partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood on your ABG divided by the FiO2 or the fractured of inspired oxygen. An example is your patient's PaO2 is 100 and they're on the ventilator at 50% FiO2. So that's 100 divided by 0.5, which would give us a PF ratio of about 200. Step number two, the meaning of the number that you just got. What does the number mean? Well, normal lungs are gonna be a PF ratio above 400. This means that they're doing fantastic at oxygenation. Mild ARDS is gonna sit less than about 300. Moderate ARDS is gonna be less than 200. And then severe ARDS, which was some of our COVID patients, is gonna be less than 100. Step number three, and this is the trick, the five times rule. So instead of calculating, you're gonna use this really quick estimate. Take your FiO2 and just times it by five. That's gonna be the minimum PaO2 that you should be seeing. So for example, if they're on 50%, you wanna see their PaO2 be above 250. If the actual PaO2 is less than that number, their lungs are kind of struggling and you need to start escalating this care. This rule quickly puts you into the right treatment mindset. So remember, PF ratio is just a measurement of lung efficiency. The lower the number, the worse their lungs are working. So don't let the calculation scare you. Use the simple five times FiO2 rule to quickly check if your patient is heading into trouble.